What a scene this is here at Bush Stadium. The 20th member of the 500th home run club. That ball is drilled to right field as he hit another. We're set for Sunday afternoon baseball from Progressive Field in downtown Cleveland. Today, the finale of this three-game weekend, Danny Salazar gets the ball in game three of the series. What do we need to know here, HR? They just haven't done that, so the win today is very important. And a fastball is swung on and missed, and there is your first out of the contest. Swing, and he pops him up over toward foul territory. And Carnacion is over now, and he's got it for route number two. Third. Here's the first baseman, first Freddie. Baseman. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Cabrera's there. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. Martin Perez starts the game on the mound for the third and final game of the series. Harold, what do you Don't got? Speed stuff. Oh, and he's caught looking at a beautiful curveball there as that buckled him for the first down of the inning. Two and two. Swing and a little tapper. Throw is not going to be in time to get him, and somehow he's going to wind up with an infield single. Having third. When you really have to pay attention as a pitcher, and if you have good off-speed stuff, this might be the time to start mixing in your off-speed stuff. And Andrus will not be able to get there. It's a base hit. And he is in there. Batting fourth. Into the box That's now. The Jason Kipnis. Swing and a liner. So this is pulled in by the shortstop. In now. Bradley. Oh, you want to chase that ball? Nice left. Chopped weakly to the left. Reined in. And the two-out threat will not come to pass as the inning is. Here's Big Aaron. That pitch on the corner instead of off of it. He probably gets some pretty weak contact, if anything. He jammed him pretty hard on the previous pitch, so my bet was he was going to try to cheat on the inside part, thinking it might be coming again. Here's Joe. Count is full. Here's the pitch. Lifted the other way out to left center. Zimmer on the move. One out. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about trying to move up. Here's Rodin at the door now. Right side hit hard. And that gets through for a one out base hit. Got the ground ball he's looking for right there. Hard grounder, but it just wasn't at somebody. Tapping in now. Ronald Guzman. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One -one. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Cabrera is in his tracks now as he makes the catch for out number two. Here's the center fielder. Here's another 2-2. Two -two. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. Gone. He finds the short porch for a home run. Three-run home run down the line in right. First home run of the campaign for him as the Rangers have moved out to a three-to-nothing lead. In now, Robinson Chirino. So the count holds at two and two. And he strikes him out here, so he's able to stop the bleeding a bit as this side is retired. But the Rangers post a three spot, all coming on the three-run home run. Digging in, number 30. Last thing you want to do is have base runners on and then give up a big ball, and that three runs means nothing to you. So pitch around the corners, make them chase the ball, but do not walk people. Guzman has to retreat a bit, but he gets there for route number one. Here's Melky Cabrera. Now the pitch. Swing and a high pop-up back onto the outfield grass now. Gallo onto the grass. Two down. At the plate, number 39. 
Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Hit on the ground toward the left. Backhanded. And now from the air, a jump throw. And striding in once again into the windup and the pitch. Pulls this one into the air out into right field. Right fielder has a beat on it. He's got it one away. Ready for another chance. Here it comes, 1 0. Hit to short. Scooped up on the backhand. In time to first, and there are two away. Digging into the windup and the 0 1 on the ground to the right side. He's got it. On to Encarnacion at first, and that ends the inning. Inning number three. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Herrera on the run. Looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. Now batting. Stepping in and ready for two. He still might be looking for that release point on that curveball early in this outing. That one looked like it popped out of his hand behind his ear instead of out front. We'll see if he finds that pitch because it'll be important for him. Guzman is over just a few now steps batting. to his right as he takes it for out number. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. A swinging bunt up the third baseline. And the inning is going to continue here as he reaches on an infield single. Stepping in, Edwin and Carter. Here's the 1 and 1 delivery. Hard on the ground towards short. Andrus has it. Here's a flip to Odor covering, and the inning. Settling in now. Hoping for a base on balls there, but it's a full count now. 3 and 2. Hit hard on the ground towards second. Throw to first in time. One gone here in the fourth. Third baseman number 13. So striding through the door. Waits on deck. And that is swung on and missed. He's down on strikes. And the first two are retired here to begin inning number four. Hard on the ground towards short. On to Encarnacion at first. And that ends the end. Coming to the plate. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the 0-2 pitch. And this will ricochet off of him on the mound. Well, that base hit right there extends his streak to nine games. And we've been... Sent on the ground out to second. And that's through for a base hit. Make him one for two in this one. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. What a nice piece of hitting there. Into the box now. Number 38. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. Chopped in front of home plate. And he indeed takes only the out at first as the runners move to second and third with one away now. Here's Melky Cabrera. He's set. Here's the 2-2. Down the third baseline. Throw to first is in time, but meanwhile, the runner is in to score. Standing like the pitcher. Is he going to try to pitch around me, or is he going to come in the strike zone? This one's down to third. Gallo gloves it. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. Now to the plate. Balls off, fouling him off in the one-two count. He finally took a ball right there. There's a swing, and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. Cabrera ranging back. He tracks it down. A nice running play, and there's one away. Two balls and a strike. Here it is. A swinging bunt to the mound. Throw in time at first for route number two. Now about it. Now in the box, trying to send him packing for the second time. Drilled to first, fielded by Encarnacion, and he'll step on the bag. And... So stepping you know, in. If they can get somebody on, a broken bat, a blooper, a bunt, and then go for the big ball, they can get something going. But they've got to start with getting somebody on base. This offense needs a base runner and get things happening. 
third baseman. Pretty surprised by the location on those last three pitches. The book on him is that he hits the way pitch pretty well, and he just saw three in a row out there. So does he go back out there again? No, Matt. I expect him to mix it up. Most catchers won't call for the same location. Don't be worrying about this, but in a two-run game, a two-out walk right here could at least get hot shot to first base and a great play. To Your Logan please. takes over to start the now sixth inning the on the mound. In is Joey Votto. Ooh, he saws him off with that one. Throw to first gets him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. And I thought this might happen. Well, I think we're going to have to wait and see what the word is from the dugout. But here's another look at it. So here's the signal from the bench, and they will indeed ask for the play to be reviewed. All right, we'll take one last look at it here. The question is, is there enough... The decision appears to have been made as the headset comes off, and the runner is safe. Elvis Andrews. Here's a high pop-up. Lindor is under it as he puts it away for round number one. Here's the first baseman. The one that's difficult is that one that starts in at you and still breaks over the plate. Slap hard the opposite way. But this will hang up just enough as he takes it in in stride in left center for the second out. Here's big Aaron Jones. He got away with one. The guy took the pitch. Maybe he's just measuring him up. I wouldn't come back with that again. Hit hard up the middle. On to second for the force out, and the side is retired. Fastball 0 oh and 2. Now I know he's sitting 1 and 2, but you showed him a great fastball. Now he's got to honor that, and you can set him up with anything. Got him to chase out of the zone. A good pitch right there with the bases empty. Why not take a shot? Throw that breaking ball in the dirt and see if he'll chase after it. Chirinos has a play. He's got it, and there are two down now. Center field Digging in to try it again. He jumps ahead of him now, 0 oh and 2. A swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes, and that will retire. Tony Sipp. Attention, is on to pitch now from the bullpen the now to Indians. start inning number seven. And there's a base hit, so maybe some insurance here to lead off the seventh. Matt, did you see where they were playing him? They're playing him in the shift, and he just did not care. Score. In the dirt. Here it comes, 0-2. Swing and a miss on the slider, and that's out number one. Franklin Gutierrez will grab a bat and pinch hit. He's set and the three and one pitch. Line drive to center field. And now a diving effort, but this is off the center fielder's glove. And tack on one more, make it a four to one lead. Well, that's a big base hit right there. Now you got a three run lead. You always play to beat that bloop and that blast that can hurt you late in the game. And now they've got that cushion. Odubel Herrera. Here's the first pitch to him. On the ground to second base. This could be two. There's one. On to Encarnacion, and it's in time for the double. Franklin Gutierrez will stay in the ball game now and take over in left field. 0 for 2 on his line thus far. Lefty and a right-hander are throwing down there. Swing and a liner. And this inning starts with a solid base hit. So a productive start to the inning for the Tribe as their leadoff hitter is aboard. Well, that's what you want right there. Late in the game, leadoff 3-0. Now puts the count 3-1. That was the same pitch he threw 2-0 and missed on it and got the ball caught. That misses. So a single and a walk. And trying to get it right by him. Here's the pitch on 2-2. Two and two. Swing and a little blooper to center. Odor into shallow center. And that's the first out of the inning. Ready for another shot now. And he popped him up, drifting back behind first. Freeman takes charge out there, and he stays with it for the second out. Now with the plate. He 
He's set. Here's the 2 2. And he takes strike three called as Clyde Washington strikes. Randall Delgado has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Fooled him a bit as this is hit high in the air towards right center and shallow. Number 38 has the best view of this one, so he'll take it for the first out. So striding forward just hit so far. And here's a ball hit in the air. And Carnacion is there for it. And he brings it in for the second out of the inning. Stepping up now. Elvis. Showing a lot of patience here. And I like that from a guy like him, Matty. He can do a lot of damage on the base pass with his legs. And the right fielder is there to make the catch. And Alex Claudio is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 58. Three balls and a strike. Here's the pitch. Mine to the right side. That gets down. He's got himself a base hit. And the home half of the eighth starts with a leadoff double. When you heard the crack of the bat, you just knew that was going to get down. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground. And a good throw gets him one gone. Stepping in. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. And the slider gets him swinging two gone. At the plate, Bradley Zimmer. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. This one's down to third. And eight innings have come and gone now as the inning is over. Andrew Miller enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom. The pitch. On the ground near home. Throw on to first for the out, and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. Here's Big Aaron up. Here's the first pitch to him. Hot shot to third. Oh, what a stop on the slide. In time. Digging in. Joey Gale. Crowd gets up for the 3-2. And he struck him out. So a good pitch there, and now they're going to need to... Jose LeClerc is the man called on to close this one and earn a save in the ninth. Leading three and two. What a great at bat to start this inning off. Hey, this could be a productive inning. And he looks at a cold strike three as the cut fastball's in there, and that's out number one. Ready on one and two. And he strikes him out as well. So make it back-to-back -back punch outs here to the first two men he faces out of the boat. Now the count's even again. Has them down to their final strike. Here it comes. Little flare out to left. And that'll make him one for four in this one. And if you're the manager, you've got to love that about your team. They were down to their last strike, but they refused to go down without a fight. So they... Two out, two strike offering. Here it is. Line towards center field. And this is down in front of Gutierrez. It's a base hit. After two straight outs here in the ninth, now they come up with a couple hits in a row. Into the box, Jose Ramirez. He swings and sends a bullet to right field. That's in there. Base hit. They'll give that runner the green light headed around third. And he is out at the plate. Trying to get a little too greedy when he didn't need to be, and this ball game is over. Gets the win on the mound, his first of the year. Jose LeClerc earns the save out of the bullpen, his seventh of the campaign. Inside the Show with Justin Allegri. Welcome, everyone. Let's jump right in and revisit the news and events from Monday. Starting in the AL West, the Rangers allowed only five hits as they bested the Mariners in Safeco Field 5-1. to one. The Phillies put together 10 hits total. Inside the Show with Justin Allegri. Welcome to our Wednesday edition of Inside the Show. Let's jump right into Tuesday's action. Starting out west in the American League, Robinson Chirinos collected six runs driven in on a total of three hits, leading Texas to victory over the Mariners. 
Inside the Show with Justin Allegri. Good Thursday morning to you, Show Nation. Let's jump right into Wednesday's baseball action. Starting in the AL West, the Texas Rangers knocked out 12 hits as a team as they bested the Mariners in Safeco Field 7-5. The win was their sixth in a row. The Philadelphia Phillies finished off a three-game sweep as they pulled off the win against the Angels in Orange. Inside the Show with Justin Allegri. Happy Friday, baseball fans. Welcome to Inside the Show. Starting out west in the American League, the Rangers knocked out 10 hits as a team as they bested the Mariners in Safeco Field 4-3. The win was their seventh in a row. Looking at the standings, the Mariners sit in fourth place in the American League West, while the rain... Inside the Show with Justin Allegri. Happy Saturday morning to you. Here's the news and results from Friday. Starting in the AL West, the Texas Rangers went deep four times as they pummeled the Yankees 12-4. They are on a roll with eight straight victories. The A's shortstop, number three, grabbed three runs driven in as Oakland disposed